Hey America, this is Duke Hansom. Welcome to our first video. Today you join us in God's country, Texas, where we're going to take down one of the largest, most dangerous mythical animals that ever existed. Now that science is unified, that Sasquatches do exist, it's time to find out what kind of calibers can put a dent in one of those should you run into them in the wild. It's obviously known, and since again, science is now unified on this, that the only way to potentially injure slash kill a Sasquatch is to hit it in its meat helmet. So we've set up a couple different calibers, working away from the smallest, some of the little lady calibers, all the way up to the biggest muscle, so that should you encounter one of these dangerous, mythical, and aggressive, yet docile creatures in the wild, you'll know what to pack and where to shoot. Welcome to Duke Handsome. First up, we have a new hot gun right from SHOT Show called the Laser X. Technology's been working a long time to perfect the laser gun, and finally, I think we have something that's commercially viable. Let me rearm this. Take our first shot. Good trigger on this. No take up. Good reset. But I don't think we are able to wound the, the mythical beast. Next up, the 22. Big brother to the BB gun. Also known as hitting from the pink tees. So we're going to aim for the Harry and the Henderson. And again, only way you can potentially injure one of these beautiful animals is if you hit it in the thunder stick. Here we go. Direct hit. Next up, one of the most common calibers in America, the 9mm. Today we'll be shooting it out of uh, Shadow Systems MR920 with a little suppressor on the top. See if this does any more damage than that little 22. I think it's safe to say that the 9mm is always going to do more damage than the 22, but as everyone knows, the Sasquatch's shaft is impenetrable. The only way to potentially inflict harm on it is to hit it right in the purple helmet. So unless you're a marksman, because obviously with Sasquatch's having echolocation, you're never going to be able to get this close. Unless you're an excellent marksman, better not to shoot it and just try and hide and make sure it doesn't find you. Next up, the 357. One of the oldest calibers around, also one of the sexiest. Pretty sure that this would anger most Sasquatches, especially a full grown adult Sasquatch. But however, if you encountered a juvenile, maybe a more liberal Sasquatch, this might be the caliber to do it for you. Three fifty seven definitely had some penetration power. But again, you know, it's a Sasquatch. You're gonna have to hit it with at least 10 to 30 bullets if you're expecting to take it down. Even a direct hit and the one-eyed monster is not gonna be able to lay it down. You're gonna have to go maybe jump on it, do a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick, drop an elbow from the top rope, hit him with your gun. I don't know, no one's ever killed one before. This is all uncharted territory, so we do what we can to be as prepared as possible. And we we'll step it up to one of the most common cartridges used for dangerous game hunting, the 10 millimeter. 10 millimeters gaining a lot of new popularity. Not as, uh, not as kid friendly as the 9mm, but also not as intimidating as a 50 Desert Eagle. So, what we have here is the new SIG P320 and chambered in 10mm. We also stepped up the load on this 10mm. We have the Buffalo Boar 220 grain hard cast. It's for your serious, dangerous animals or angry neighbors. Time to step up to some rifle rounds. Obviously a rifle is going to be packed more power, so let's see what common calibers are going to be able to help put down Harry and the Hendersons. I don't know, things are getting a little spicy over there for Harry. If I got whacked in the broom handle, well, it's going to, it's going to make me think twice about coming after you. Even if you do have some beef jerky on you. Moving on up. Next we have a 6.5 Creedmoor. This is from LaRue, one of the best gun makers out there. 6.5 Creedmoor, I don't know. It's kind of like kissing your cousin, but it's really popular and she might be hot. And you know, who knows? If anyone finds out, you, you still killed it, right? Right? So 
So if 65 crew more started taking steroids, it would be called the 65 PRC. A little bit faster, about the same, only you're gonna notice. It's a new Bergera MG Lite. Pretty handy because it does have a foldable stock. So if you're backpack hunting, which obviously is where most of the Sasquatch are going to be found, pretty good options. So as we take aim at this ginormous salami, let's see if the PRC does any more damage than the Creedmoor. Shout out the magazine. Let's go check it out. And last up, we have the 300 PRC. This is from Fierce Firearm. Super light gun, carbon fiber barrel, very easily suppressed. Right now I've got the Titanium Nomad from Dead Air on there. It's a very light gun. I think total package with scope and ammo is under nine pounds. Let's see what the 300 PRC does to the meat rocket. Definitely a spicy round. We had a direct hit on his banana hammer. Let's go see if this is the final caliber to take him down. Well, as expected, he's still standing. Purple helmet took some direct hits. So did his ankle. But all in all, I think he's still gonna survive. It is a regenerative part of the Bigfoot, so you can always grow a second one. Here we have our exit wounds. Everything did make it through, but this is probably an underrepresentation of what an actual Bigfoot Wang is. Since we've never been able to capture one in the wild, it is getting harder and harder to make projections on the actual dimensions of this wild salami. Well, America, that does it for our first video. If you enjoyed this one, please hit the like and subscribe button. We're trying to build our audience, we'll bring you new videos every week with some fun guns, more mythical creatures, and potentially some sexy babes. I don't know, we'll see what we can, we can buy here. This is Duke Handsome, and remember, I might be your father.